Watch this before you try analyzing shocking celebrity moments. And the crazy thing is, you'll see why this interview is making headlines everywhere. It's not what you'd expect. Stay till the end to catch every jaw-dropping moment and hilarious reaction from Cameron on CNN. Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into one of the most unforgettable TV moments of the year. Cameron's recent appearance on CNN to discuss Diddy's 2016 assault on Cassie. This interview is packed with unexpected twists and turns, and we're breaking down every single moment for you. Let's start from the beginning. Host Abby Phillip kicked things off by asking Cameron about his reaction to the shocking footage of Diddy's assault on Cassie. As you might imagine, Cameron didn't hold back. First of all, everything in the video was egregious. I don't support all the charges that's alleged against him. I don't support any of that. Trafficking minors, domestic violence. I'm totally against it, he said, making his stance clear from the get-go. But things quickly took a turn when Philip asked if Cameron recognized the anger that Diddy displayed in the footage. Cameron's reaction was defensive and slightly combative. I don't know him like that. What do you mean, do I recognize him? He snapped back. What do you mean my experience is? I seen it and I thought it was disgusting. I didn't zoom in to see if it was really him, but he admitted it was him. This unexpected response set the tone for the rest of the interview. It was clear that Cameron was not going to stick to the typical script. Next, Philip played a clip from Cameron's sports show, It Is What It Is, where co-host Mace talked about introducing Cam to the notorious Big early in his career. This was supposed to pivot the conversation back to Diddy's treatment of bad boy artists. But Cameron had other plans. As the clip played, he casually took out a jar of his pink horsepower sex supplement and took a swig. Sorry, I'm gonna get some cheeks after this horsepower joint, he declared, holding the jar up to the camera and leaving Philip momentarily speechless. Thanks for being here. First, when you saw that video of Diddy, Cassie uh, in that hotel, did you recognize that Sean Combs? Um, what I want to say, first of all, when I seen the video, um, everything in the video is egregious. I'm against, uh, I don't support, uh, all the charges that's alleged against him. I don't support any of that traffic and minors, uh, domestic violence. I'm totally against it. So when I seen the video, yeah, I was kind of upset with it. Uh, no, being that I know him, he's not necessarily a friend, but yeah, I was upset when I seen it. But did, did you recognize everything him? I just said? Did you recognize right. that I kind of anger at all from your experiences? I don't know him like that. What do you mean? Do I be recognized? Do I recognize him? I've seen him. What do you mean my experiences? I've seen him and I thought I thought it was disgusting. I didn't do a zoom in to see if it was really him or nothing, but he admitted it was him. So, yeah, it was him. What did you think about the apology that he gave in that other video? Ain't me for this, the apology ain't for me to decide for Cassie. What, what I what I think about it don't matter. He ain't do nothing to me. Cassie need to need to ask Cassie if she accept the apology. I told you how I feel. I said what I said. I want to play a conversation that you had on your podcast back in September with Mace. Mm -hmm. Listen. Yeah. When you had your record mm, deal, why did you take me to Biggie Smalls and not um, Bad Boy? Man, it's almost gonna bring me to tears to say this. I just. Being that I saw you as as such a good friend, I wanted to put you with somebody I knew with. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. A lot of people ask me that on Instagram, yeah, I knew man. With Biggie Don't have me just out here crying and shit, it. man. I don't want to get emotional knew, in here, man. Instantly, I knew Biggie would, would do right by you. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? I mean, is there... Um, is there something known in the industry about how Diddy treated his artists? So I'm going to get some cheeks after this horsepower joint. Um, I'm just going off what Mace said. Mace took me to Biggie. I don't really know Puff is like Mace no Puff. So I appreciate what Mace said. And of course, uh, that's my brother. So if he felt that way, then he felt that way. I can't really tell you how. 
Puff moves or anything like that. Mace may know better than me because he was signed to Puff. I wasn't. But my show does come on at 8 a.m. Eastern on YouTube. It's called It Is What It Is. And y'all make sure y'all check it out. I mean, I might get some more information out of Mace from there. But for me to tell you Mm -hmm. how Puff acting and all that, I don't know. I never was signed to him. Yeah. What about the industry in general? I mean, so many people have pointed out that Diddy couldn't get away with this stuff if there weren't a lot of people protecting him. Do you think that's the case? Who the talent agent for this joint? Like, you think I'll be sitting around watching what Diddy do and all this? I didn't know this was a Diddy joint that I was inviting me to. Yo, who, yo, who booked me for this joint? All right. Oh, wow, and I'll be sitting Cameron. around watching Diddy and all that? Yeah, thanks. Man, come on, man. This thanks for crazy, joining man. us. Thank you for your time tonight. Yeah, yeah, yo, thank, yo, thank you for having me. You enjoy. As if that wasn't enough to derail the interview, Cameron continued to dodge questions about Diddy's treatment of bad boy artists. Instead, he launched into a rant about the absurdity of the situation. Who's the talent agent for this joint? You think I'd be sitting around watching what Diddy do? He asked. I didn't know that this was a Diddy joint that you invited me to. Yo, who booked me for this joint? Y'all wildin'. Philip, clearly flustered, thanked Cameron for his time and abruptly ended the interview. But the damage was already done. The interview quickly went viral, with viewers taking to social media to share their reactions. One user on X, formerly Twitter, wrote, Yo, Cameron on CNN got me weak. Another commented, I'm like 98.7% certain that Cameron will never be invited to CNN again. A third added, Cameron asking who booked him for that interview was a valid ask question though because Hooms thought that was a good idea. Cameron's on-camera antics are nothing new. Back in 2003, he famously appeared on Bill O'Reilly's Fox News show, The O'Reilly Factor, alongside Dame Dash, and taunted the conservative commentator. During a heated debate over rap music's influence on American youth, Cam mocked O'Reilly by saying, why you don't wanna let him talk? You mad, you mad, you mad. When did you start covering the field? I got dirt on you, doggy, while pointing and laughing at him. Clearly, Cameron is no stranger to controversy and knows how to make a statement on live TV. You hurt children. How do you hurt children by promoting to be an entrepreneur and a CEO and to do right? You're looking at a principal. For example, for example. Yeah, yeah, hold it, hold it. You're you're looking looking at a principal. Why you don't want to let him talk? You mad, you mad, you mad. You mad, Where'd you get from? Where'd you start? Covering the fear, right? No, wrong. Well, you're you looking, you're looking I got at dirt a on you, doggy. Camera, get I'm going to get at you in a minute. You go ahead, you get at me. I'm going to get at you in a minute. This latest CNN interview is just another example of his unpredictable and unapologetic nature. So what can we learn from this wild interview? First, always expect the unexpected with Cameron. His ability to turn a serious discussion into a comedic spectacle is unmatched. Second, this interview highlights the importance of knowing your guest and being prepared for any direction the conversation might take. And there you have it. Cameron's CNN interview was a roller coaster from start to finish, proving once again that live television can be as unpredictable as it is entertaining. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this breakdown of Cameron's wild CNN interview, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more exclusive content from the red carpet re-up. Don't forget to like, comment, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an update. See you next time.